Dead! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to Evil Dead from 2013. So, I'm really excited to watch this. I have heard some things about it. I know that it's very different than the Sam Raimi Evil Dead trilogy. This is completely 100% a reboot. It has, like, nothing to do with the first three movies. At least, that's what I'm led to believe. So, yeah, I'm expecting a very different type of movie. I doubt it's going to be nearly as campy and just absolute bad shit crazy as those Sam Raimi movies were, but I'm still looking forward to seeing what the take is of this story in this specific film. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more similar to how Evil Dead Rise is going to feel, which releases in only a couple days. I'm probably uploading this video after it's already released, but yeah, I'm excited to finish out this franchise. So if you guys want to see the full cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon. Link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Jeez, dude, <laughs> come on. Not the jump scares and the freaking promotional, like, what do you call, what do you call these? I don't even know what you call these. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be terrifying. I have a feeling this is going to be so terrifying. Oh my God, what is the, that person holding? Oh. Damn! I thought they were demons at first, but I don't think they are. Oh, dead animals? Oh. Is that the Book of the Dead? I don't get it. Do they think she's like a witch or something? Like, I don't understand. What did she do? Daddy? That's her dad? What the hell? Daddy, why are you doing this to me? Who are these people? What the hell? They're, they're here to help. What are you talking about? Where's mom? Mommy's dead, baby. You know that. You killed her. No, why are you saying these things, Daddy? Please, I just want to go home. I'm so sorry, baby. Daddy, what is that? Is that oil? Oh my god, are they gonna light her on fire? Do they think she's possessed? Maybe she is. <laughs> that would be quite a twist if she actually was possessed. Please stop. I will rip your soul out, Daddy. Oh shit, she is possessed. Rip your soul <laughs> out, you pathetic fuck! <laughs> Mother fucker! I will kill you like I killed your boy! Wow. Oh my god. This is terrible, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. That was quite the twist. They made us think that like these guys were just like crazy, but no, it was it was her. She was the possessed one. You couldn't try to get this demon out of her. You just had to shoot her. Guess they got desperate. They probably tried everything else before they did that. Wow, that was a great way to start it. Alright, already sets the tone. This is not, you know, this isn't as campy to, to any degree, at least at this point. <laughs> Which, like I said, I like camp, but I also like serious stuff. It really it just depends, you know. You could have campy stuff that's also serious at the same time. Like, they don't, they're not exclusive things. You could have them together. I think Malignant's a perfect example of a campy but also serious movie. There's tons of serious stuff to that movie, but it's also got a lot of camp to it. This is my girl, Natalie. Oh, the heartbreaker from your car shop. The doctor. Actually, she's... I'm a registered nurse. And that's our irresistibly charming Eric. It's teaching high school. Finally turned you into a bitter old coot, huh? Kept us waiting here all morning. Good to see you too, man. She's waiting for you in the back. Hey, Mia. I don't recognize any of these actors. You actually came. Come on, I'm your big brother. Oh no, she looks familiar, but... Grandpa? I don't know for sure. Her dog's name is Grandpa? <laughs> what is that? What? Just this right here, what do you... It's not funny. This is, uh, it's made from a buckthorn tree. It's supposed to make your will stronger. But I thought you didn't believe in that kind of stuff. I don't, but you do, so... Well, maybe it'll work. Okay, well then let's do this. They've established the characters pretty well so far. Promise At least these two. Stay with me until the end. I'm not going anywhere. Cross your heart. Until the end of what? Fuck it. 
I promise not to touch this shit. Oh, she's trying to get sober. And she knows it's going to probably fuck her up. Okay, let's play cold turkey. Cold turkey, is that like the best idea though? Isn't it usually recommended that you, you like go off of it little by little? Isn't cold turkey like kind of dangerous? I guess it depends on the drugs. I don't know. What is that smell? Definitely dead bodies. Oh, flies are never a good sign. You know what our final days at the hospital? Mom sometimes thought I was you. She even called me David for a whole day. I played along, cause... Mia, look, I wanted to be there. But by the time mom got bad, I had just gotten a job at the garage in Chicago. I don't know, I had, I had a hard time finding the right moment to come back. And then it was too late, so... Maybe you were lucky not to see her the way that I did. I wonder how, uh, what she had. Probably cancer. That's usually what the things are in these movies. I love the set design here of this cabin. It's got a good atmosphere. What do you mean? You want to force her to stay here? Mia. This time the only way is the hard way, man. She Damn. Won't survive another OD. It's kind of messed up, but at the same time, Mia. maybe it's the only way they can do it. She didn't just OD. Legally, your sister died. Oh, shit. Oh, it's getting bad already. Oh my god. It makes perfect sense that it would get that bad. There probably actually is a smell. I don't think she's, you know. I don't know what is wrong with you people, but there is something dead and it reeks. She's right. Maybe she just has a good sense of smell. See, the dog does. The dog knows. There you go. Just like, just like the Sam Raimi trilogy at the cabin. You don't want to go in there, man. If there's blood in it, why would you want to go in there? What's your medical diagnosis now? It fucking stinks. <laughs> oh, shit, careful. You stepped your old run. That's gonna come back into play in the story. The fact that the stairs are all rotten like that. Someone's gonna break through those stairs. I just know it. You think this is the same cabin where that intro happened? Maybe. Oh, it might be actually. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is the same. Yeah, this is the same place. I'd be getting the fuck out of there instantly. Look. Shit, man. Not the book. Not the book. You shouldn't have touched anything from that basement. Yeah, I agree with her. I feel like she's the only sane one here. <laughs> Come on, now. That's disgusting. <laughs> Showing us that after seeing all those dead cats. What is he doing? Don't open it. Oh, come on. It's literally a book covered in barbed wire. Why would you want to open that? Giving the book blood, did that do something? The book's literally giving you warnings, man. <laughs> Kunda. Why would you say it? Why would you say it? It's literally saying don't Oh, that's a cool shot. It's literally saying not to do it. Why is this guy doing it? Why? Why? What, what is this curiosity peak or something? I guess if you don't believe in this stuff, then obviously maybe you wouldn't care as much, but I wouldn't be taking no chances. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, that's just withdrawals. Give me a break. She ain't getting no break. Oh god. They're gonna all think she's just seen things. She probably thinks she's seeing things herself. I'm going insane here. Olivia, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I will go through with this, okay? I just I can't do it here. We've decided we're not gonna take you back. I can't lose you again. I am such an idiot to think for once in my life I could count on you. If he thinks you're gonna get better if you stay here, then. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. I mean, she should not be driving in the state she's in. She's gonna crash. She's gonna crash. Oh! Oh my god! 
Damn. It's a good thing she didn't drown. Oh! Oh my god! They're doing those similar shots as the first two. I guess even the th all three of them had these types of shots. I'm glad they're keeping the consistency like that, you know? Oh no, not the branches. No, no, don't tell me it's gonna be like the first one with the branches. No! I don't want that, I don't want that. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Ooh, damn! Who the hell is this? That's not herself, is it? Is it herself? Ew, ew. Oh no, no, don't go up into her. No, ew, 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 ew. What is it doing? Does that mean she's possessed now? Oh God, this is insane. <laughs> This is insane. Oh my god. Um, she's talking about a woman in the woods. How the forest attacked. She's gonna start killing people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Please. Please. <laughs> you have to get me out of here. It's all in your head. Just try to get together. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrifying. I'm still pissed at this dude. I know he's just trying to do his little research and stuff, but... Like, come on, man. Curiosity really got the best of you here. Don't tell me the dog... Oh no, not the dog. No. No. Grandpa! Shit. What did you get? <laughs> oh no, is he dead? Oh. Oh god, it's gonna look like. Oh, it's gonna look like she did it. Shit. It well, obviously it wasn't her. I mean, it could have been her while she was possessed. Yeah, he's gonna blame her. Dude, she is losing it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Ow, ow! That's gotta be burning her! Oh! Well, now they gotta go to a hospital. And something's gonna stop them, though. <laughs> of course, something's gonna stop them. This is fucking nuts! This is really cool, though. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Dude, it's all in the books! Are they blocked off? Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane, man! Oh, I love it though. I gave her a sedative, so she should be out for a couple of hours. I don't think the sedative's gonna do anything. Her burns are serious, like... Second, third degree. Well, nobody could have known she would do something so twisted. No, you should have known. We've all been following your lead since we got here. You've said like two words this whole movie. Shut up. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? The sedatives did nothing yet? Oh my god. Mia? What are you doing? Mia, put the gun down. Put the fucking gun down! Oh! You are all going to die tonight. Well, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, 
This is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I love how different this is. You know, because it's, it's taken the concept seriously. I just gave her enough sedative before the horse to sleep. The whole sedative thing is the thing you're worried about? What about the fact that she just puked gallons of blood on you? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That is fucking so cool. Oh, you better not have your face skinned. That would be not good. Is she gonna be possessed now? Well, she's unable to move. Yeah, I mean, I'd be peeing myself too at that point. Don't tell me she's cutting off her face. Don't tell me she's cutting off her face. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, I hear it. It sounds like she's cutting off her face. Oh, no, no. Oh, God, she's doing it. No, that is so fucked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, well, shit. It still has that Sam Raimi directing style in some scenes. I know this isn't directed by him. Oh. Oh. Ow. The way they look after being possessed is just, is fucking terrifying. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my god. This is this is insane. I already love this movie though. This is really good. I read a passage from that book. It was some sort of prayer. I released something, David. I released something evil. Oh boy. Fuck that. Don't open it. Don't open it. Oh, she's gonna open it. She's gonna open it. Why do they do these things? Well, the thing's open already, damn. Oh, those stairs are gonna break. Like something really terrible has happened and we have to get out of here now, okay? I don't understand. He's not gonna let you leave. Oh my God. I knew he has all of you. Oh yeah, I knew it. It had to happen at some point. <laughs> that was a cool shot. This is really well directed. Oh god, this is so creepy. Ew. I can smell your filthy soul. Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh my god, ew, ew, ew. Come down here and suck your cock, pretty boy! Mia. Mia, you fucking idiot! What the fuck? This is insane. This is insane. Yeah, I think this is my favorite one so far. Out of the Evil Dead movies. I, I think this is my favorite. It's more up my alley. It says, once he feasts on five souls, the sky will bleed again. Well, there's five of them there, so... Oh, that image is like the main poster of the first movie, right? It's definitely calling back to that. Oh. This thing is attached to me as soul like a leech. Well, that leech thing like went up her in the beginning. I think we're gonna have to kill her. So there's nothing they can do to take the thing out. Oh no, her hands possessed. No, is it? I think her hands possessed. Shit, it's just like Evil Dead 2. <laughs> She's gonna have to cut it off. They're not that different from zombies, these things, to be honest. The concept is pretty similar. Oh my god. That's fucking terrifying. 
Oh no, I think she's just completely turning now. Oh no, she's gonna cut it off. Oh. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna possess her. Where do you cut it off at? Oh, right there. Oh god, oh! Fuck you! Oh! That looks so real, ew! This is a, this is a gruesome movie. <laughs> Holy shit! I had to do it so much better now. Oh my god! Eric and I were gonna. They're patching it up with duct tape. If she dies, then this thing is gonna die with her. What if she just lost her mind? Exactly what happened in the opening. They had to kill that one girl. She just needs a doctor. A doctor. Yeah, it's not, doctor's not helping in this situation. My mom died in the mental hospital. She was crazy. Oh, that's what happened to their mom. Oh. oh I feared that me and Mia would end up like her. This is not the same thing as that, though. You're just a fucking coward. You know exactly what we have to do, but you're too scared to go through with it. How are you a coward for not wanting to kill your sister? That's not cowardly. That's very rational to be scared of that. What? Oh shit. Oh my god. She got possessed anyways. It didn't even matter. What does she have? Oh! Oh. You're fucked. Oh! Damn! They always do this. The, the demons always do this. They start acting all innocent. That is actually really sad. This movie's like, this is one of the scariest, most terrifying movies I've seen. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Burn the place down? I feel like she's definitely not down there anymore. Oh, not the song. Yep. She's doing that playing innocent thing. Chainsaw? Hopefully his plan works here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh my god. Oh shit. The way she moved towards him did, did not look natural. It looked really weird. This shit was creepy. Oh shit. He came back down? Oh, Yeah, he's probably not gonna make it. I don't know if this sedative thing's gonna work. I missed you, man. <laughs> Whatever that punctured killed him, probably. Alright. Gotta read the words or something from the pages. Oh no, her eyes are gonna open up. Oh no, oh no, yes, yeah, shit. <laughs> Don't fall for it, come on. Every time she screamed your name, I told her you were coming to see her. I know mother hates you now. And she waits for you in hell. Jeez, man. <laughs> I think Mia's the scariest 
like demon possessed, whatever you want to call it, that we've had in this franchise. I should have been there for you. Is that all you had to do? I don't believe it. I don't trust it. Oh, it's defibrillator. Oh. Bring it back to life. Jeez. Please come back. Oh no. That's bullshit. Nah, there's gotta be some catch, right? I don't know. I'm waiting for something to happen. There's gonna be some something. Oh. I still don't trust it though. I feel like she's still possessed. Thanks for not leaving me, David. No! You gotta be shitting me. Oh my god, it had to be something. I knew it. <laughs> Come on. It wasn't what I was expecting though, but I knew it had to be something. It wasn't gonna be a happy ending. Nope. Burn the house down. The gasoline's still all over the place, right? Get out of here. He's gonna burn the house down. Don't not with you in it! You don't have to be stuck in here though. Oh. You did not need to be locked in there for that, dude. You could have stepped outside and did that. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> it was all that fucker's fault, too. He had to open the book and read the damn words. Like, <laughs> why do you gotta mess with that stuff? Oh, it's on the floor like a skull, just like in Evil Dead 2, right? I love how they're calling back to the other movies. I think that's really cool. What the fuck? What was that? Is it raining blood? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Oh, shit. This looks so cool, dude. This is one of the best looking horror films I've seen. I love the directing style. And the the visuals and the aesthetics. Why would you go in there? You really think you're gonna be safe? <laughs> oh, she's gonna find a chainsaw in there. She's gonna find a chainsaw. Come on, I, I wanna see someone use a chainsaw. Nah, not the machete. Use a chainsaw. Yeah, she's gonna see- Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. You need the chainsaw. You need to. Oh! Come here, bitch. Holy shit! <gasps> Ow! The raining blood is so cool. Holy shit! <laughs> Damn, I didn't know these things have super strength! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a broken arm. Oh! I really hope she doesn't have to cut off her arm. She probably will, though. You're gonna die here, you pathetic junkie! Oh, of this shit. Oh! Feast on your soul. 
done this motherfucker. Of course she was gonna say that. <laughs> I've I've never seen uh, a more gruesome movie. And I have, but this is this is up there. This has gotta be top ten for like goriest horror films, at least. Top fifteen maybe, I don't know. Damn. That was really good. Jeez. Can she at least get her happy ending though? Somewhat happy ending. Not really happy, but you know. <laughs> Can she at least live? I like the music. Oh wow, this is pretty. Look at that. Like I said, the atmosphere in this movie is top notch. So I was told there's actually an after credit scene towards the end here. So I'm just gonna let it play and we'll see what it is. I don't think it's that long because there's only like 30 I seconds left. I have no doubt that whatever I have resurrected through this book is sure to come calling for me. Okay. Is that is it is this dialogue? Oh. Go oh it's me. Oh <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, so that was the after credit scene? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I guess that was teasing the Ash vs. Evil Dead show, which I, I guess came out after this. I don't know. I do got to ask. I'm not sure if they've said anything about this or not, but um, Evil Dead Rise. Is Evil Dead Rise a sequel to this, or is it completely separate, or is it in the same universe, but still somewhat separate? I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll find out when I watch it, but I'm curious to know, because it definitely could be in the same universe, and it would probably still make a lot of sense. I love that. That was incredible. I think that's by far my favorite of the Evil Dead movies so far. As much as I loved the cheesy, campy, fun, chaotic movies in the Sam Raimi trilogy, this is more up my alley where it is taken a little bit more seriously and there's a ton of just gruesome shit going on. It is terrifying. This was by far one of the most terrifying horror films I think I've seen. It definitely had that feel to it and it was well crafted. Only issue I would probably say is I think some of the acting was a little iffy. Some of it, not all of it. Most of the characters were fine, but some of, some characters here and there, I was like, you probably could deliver that line a little bit better, but most of it was pretty solid. Gruesome, gory, like I said, the atmosphere was on point. The directing was really cool. They paid homage to the Evil Dead trilogy quite a bit while still making it its own thing, completely its own thing. It's not just trying to rip off that original. It completely did what a remake should do, in my opinion. A remake should be something very different. It should not try to just repeat the same thing the first one did you know i like it when it tries something very different and ultimately this clearly did that because the original evil dead is not anything like this other than the concept of them being at a cabin with this book of the dead that's possessing people that's like the only similarity but there's obviously a lot of differences when it comes to the tone the characters stories themselves the reason they're there in the first place it's all very different and i think they did it in a very cool and interesting way here. So I definitely love this movie. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to see a full and cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon. Link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.